Class, a very pleasant morning to all of you. Today, I, Richa Barek from Saint Thomas High School, Mahua, am here to further continue with the subject of moral science for the students of class seventh. My dear students, during the previous lecture, we started unit number thirteen. Let us forgive part two. We already discussed about the psychological benefits of forgiveness. So today, we are going to start with the steps of forgiveness. That what are the steps? we need to uh, process in order to forgive someone forgiveness is a commitment to the process of change rather than an action that is done once and it is over true forgiveness initiates a process of change in person's life it involves many steps so forgiveness is not just a process that once it is done and then we need to uh, over it or we need to uh, finish it but it is a process which initiates that means which starts the process of change in a person's life so once we are forgiving a person's uh, a person then it means that there must be some kind of change in that person's life and hence forgiveness involves many steps the first step is the process of forgiveness in the process of forgiveness is to recognize the value of forgiveness and its importance in our life at the given time unless we realize the importance of forgiveness we will not take efforts to undergo the process of forgiveness it is like a patient who is ready to take up the pain of the operation to go, to get cured so once the first step of forgiveness is in the process of forgiveness is to recognize the value that means to understand the value of forgiveness in our life unless we realize the importance we will not take a serious efforts to go through the process of forgiveness the person who is ready the example is given like that the person who is ready to take the pain of the operation in order to get cured that means in order to achieve something in order to uh, be the part of the process which is going to be beneficial it, we have to take the pain for that process the second step is to reflect on the fact of the situation that caused the wrongdoing and the resultant hurt we should reflect on how uh, we have acted in such a situation and how it has affected our life our health and our well being so the second makes us understand that how and what was the situation uh, in which the wrongful deed was done and hence the particular person was hurt we should reflect on how we have reacted that means we should make them understand that how we reacted in such a situation how it affected us our life our health and our well being then the third step is the act of forgiving the offender from the heart the very next step is after understanding that what was the situation when one person is ready to forgive he must forgive the offender from his heart since we are now ready we can actively choose to forgive the person who has offended us until we forgive we uh, we remain a victim of the offense so when we made up our heart that we we are ready to forgive the particular person we should forgive them by heart and until and unless we forgive them we uh, we remain a victim of the offense the offender would be holding control over uh, our life till then as we forgive we move away from our role as a victim and release the control and the power of the offending person and the situation has had in our life so until and unless we forgive we remain the victim of the offense and hence the offender the person who has committed the wrongful deed will always control our life and as soon as we forgive <coughs> we move away from the role as a victim and hence the control from the offending person will end up in our life it may also be helpful to reflect on the times we have hurt others remember how they had forgiven you remember the joy you experienced when others have forgiven you as you recall how you felt it may help you to understand the position of the person who hurt you it is it can also be beneficial to pray or use guided meditation in any case if the intention of the for, intention to forgive is present forgiveness will come in its own time 
so uh, it is also helpful that when there may be times that we have hurt some other people so they must have also forgiven us so we in order to forgive we we must remember those times the joy which we experienced when other people forgive us and hence as a result we will be able to forgive the person who committed some wrongful deed against us and we can also use prayer or meditation in order to seek forgiveness in any case if the intention of forgiveness is present forgiveness will always come on its own time and hence uh, even if the intention to forgive is present the forgiveness will come by itself my dear students here we are at the end of the video in the very next class we will be solving we will be understanding the challenges of forgiveness till then thank you and have a nice day